Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin. If you're new here, I post about lifestyle, vlogs, career, and in this case today I'm going to be talking to you guys a little bit about creative writing, how to start writing a children's book. If you looked at one of my previous videos, I gave a life update and I talked about how I wrote a Christian children's book. So I thought I would come on here and talk a little bit about some great tips on how you can start writing your own book. Things that were tried and true for me. I can also go into some other things later, but first and foremost, I want to give you guys some good tidbits on how to actually start writing and creating your thoughts. And if you haven't already, grab a nice hot beverage. This is piping hot, as you can see. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but I have this cute little mug I'm drinking out of. I just brewed some tea, uh, some green tea. So get a beverage, get a snack, and we'll just dive right into it. I actually posted a real video on my Instagram about three great tips on how to start writing your book, the creative writing process. And I think that one of the best things that you can do and something very simple is to just start thinking about your why. That's the number one that I will give you. Know your why. Why are you writing the book? Are you wanting to inspire others because you want to create a story that might be looked at differently? It could really be anything. For me, it was just about writing something that I could put out there that I could really create an impact over. And religion is a huge part of my, my identity. And I've always believed in God, grew up in church, uh, you know, I think a lot of people that might have grown up in any church really can resonate with the fact that God has been present in our lives and God is present in our lives. So I figured my why is all about educating younger kids on Christianity, how God sent Jesus down to save us and really protect us from our sins. So my why was about impacting something, impacting a greater purpose. I really wanted to impact people and kids with the actual moral of the story but I also had a why. My why was to create something and put it out there for everyone to see. I am such an avid person of wanting to innovate and create no matter what that may look like and so this was a great way for me to create and write and put it out there. So I would say really try to figure out what your why is. You know even if it's as simple as I wanted to create a story about my life and make myself to a cartoon so people can know what my experience is. What do I want to put out there for people to learn about or resonate with me? Things that you put out there and that resonate with others is going to be so significant into putting together what your story will be, whether, whether it's a Christian children's book or a regular children's book or even a novel. Think about your why when it comes to starting your story. My second tidbit would be to just start writing out all of your thoughts. Absolutely every thought that comes to your mind, just start writing it out. For me, I was still in school when I wrote this, so it was one night on a whim where I just opened up my laptop and I opened up Microsoft Word and I just started writing out the title. I came up with the title first and then I said, hmm, how can I play on this title and then I just went ahead and wrote out all of my thoughts. So if you just write out all your thoughts, even as abstract as they may seem to you or it might not make sense, it can really help you piece together everything because remember how we were in school, we had to brainstorm. If you can just go ahead and start writing out all of your thoughts, all of the things that you want to put out, even if they are complete sentences and you can start writing and formulating your actual story, perfect. You just want to continue to make your story and continue to build upon that. So for me, I had it in my mind already, I'm a very visual person. I wanted to write about the tree that became the cross. So the tree, I got this random idea and if you can just picture with me, uh, the idea that I came up with came from my mind thinking, huh, when you look at something, so this, I looked this up actually, and when you see an image in a object or in the sky or something that looks like something but it's not really that's not what it really is that's called a pareidolia 
and if you are a wordsmith and love English then you'll love that and I'm sure people that are English lovers probably already know that word but I learned that while I was in college I looked it up so a pareidolia is something that looks like something within another object there was a time I was in my p2 year of school and I'm gonna fall off to take a sip it's probably too hot okay it's too hot I'm gonna study down but there was a moment where I was studying one night very stressed I was my I was in my p2 year of school and I went to my restroom and not to be TMI but I was in my restroom uh, you know doing what I had to do but all of my floors in this apartment I was in were wood they were like brown wood floors and I just so happened to look down and it looked like a cross sketched into the floorboards it was like a dark symbol like cross like this you know and I I took a picture of it and I if I can find the picture I'm going to try to put it up on the screen but if I can I'll just just imagine and I said God you have given me a clue into what you want me to do you want me to write a book about Jesus and about how the cross carry Jesus to our salvation but we know the story right so my why and my impact came from telling a story that we all know it's very familiar but telling it from a different perspective that could be another great tip for you if you have a story that you know of or something that you think could be different write about that so I think that that was my why is I wanted to tell something different from a different perspective and I gave life and character to the cross. So the tree that became the cross, his name was Woody, a very simple name, but that's what I did. And I started to write out what the title would be. So I came up with the tree that stood on Calvary. It's number three, rhyme. It is so easy to start to formulate your thoughts if you can rhyme. If you can start off with one sentence and then follow up after that sentence with another sentence that rhymes, you can start to build upon your story and start to slowly layer everything. Another tip, which would be number four that I want to mention that could help you really formulate something in your mind for a children's story is to think about and find an idea that's relatable to children. Now that could look different for any age group, you know, but if you start thinking about things that children relate to, even at a young age, think about when you were a kid, what were some of the things that you were very passionate about or you loved or was it something that inspired you? Like for me, I used to want to fly when I was a kid, right? So as kids, we have these imaginations. You don't even have to make it a Christian children's book, but if you made it any type of book for children, what could relate to them and how could you tell a story that would really make them excited to read about it or see themselves in it? That is a very impactful way to also come up with your Christian children's book or your regular children's book, no matter what that may be. Last but not least, which coincides to finding something that resonates with kids is to find your market. What age range do you wanna write for? Do you want to write for kids that are between ages of 8 and 12 or do you want to write about something that little kids maybe 3 to 5 can understand just really come up with something that's going to make them think wow I really hope that some of these tips helped you I wanted to give you some quick little tidbits so that it would help you in your development in your creative writing process even in your career if this is a full-time thing you do with writing you know all too well of tips that help you but this was personally for me what helped me get into my creative writing and how I started to formulate my story so I would say to just know your why start writing out your thoughts and try to rhyme if there are any tips that you have please leave them below let me know we all have different ideas of how we can go about doing things and creating our own stories and our own uh, ideals that can really impact others so please continue to share i hope that this was helpful it was a quick video for you all but it's something that i think can help you down the line so let me know have you written a book are you going to write a book is it a novel is it a christian children's book is it a regular children's book please let me know in the comments below 
and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.